never shot that one. Wow, it is still smoky in here. <laughs> we had a small issue in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> one of our lights malfunctioned and exploded. Caught the place on fire. Not really, it, it was just a smoke machine. So if you are new to Drama Llama, <laughs> Hi. If you are new, make sure you check out all the other Drama Llama episodes because, I, I mean, let's face it, you are on YouTube already. You, you don't have anything better going on. You're on YouTube and, and you've made it to Drama Llama. You, you've hit the bottom of the barrel, right? So you might as well spend some time down here and watch the other videos, right? <laughs> Yeah, we had to add laugh tracks in to let people know it's a comedy show. Has it ever bothered you guys that this light has like a greenish tint and this light has a reddish tint? You can't tell. I mean, you can tell. See, like, I look healthy here. It's like, oh wow, Ben's so healthy. And on this side, it's like, oh my gosh, that guy is dying. <laughs> Maybe I should get another one of these lights and I could be like, I'm a dying YouTuber. All I want is more views. What? So in today's oh, jeez. Oh man. Oh, I hate when this happens. So in today's episode, oh, in today's episode, we're gonna be looking at more tattoos. But this time, we're gonna be looking at tattoos on pe people. No, nope. no, yeah, we are. We're gonna be looking off tattoos of people on people. So I'm guessing that you are probably not under the impression we're gonna be looking at the best of the best tattoos in the world, right? Um, and you would be right. We're, we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be looking at the tattoos that you know you, you don't want to show people if you have one. Google, can I cut my skin off? Like those type of tattoos, right? So, you know, I decided for the for the sake of humanity, for everybody in the world, for all my global lin glo uh people of Earth, Globans, glo glob humans. Yeah, for all you humans, I decided to make a list. If you ever want to get a tattoo of a face anywhere on your body that will remember tattoos are permanent and they stay there forever, so you know. That should be something you weigh. So let's say hypothetically, you're gonna go get a tattoo of a face on your arm, right? So take this quiz, it's, it's six questions. If you answer yes to any of the six questions, don't get the tattoo. <laughs> don't get the tattoo, it's easy. If you answer three or more to any of the following, rethink your entire life and, well, maybe I should. So, let's jump into the quiz. Question one. Are you actually deemed mentally handicapped by the state that you live in? Question two. Is your tattoo artist your good friend? Question three. Are you surprised by how cheap the tattoo artist said it's gonna be? Question four. Does your tattoo artist have track marks? And that leads into question five. Do you have track marks? And finally, the last question of this quiz is, do you play Fortnite? If you answered yes to any of the following questions, please reconsider putting a tattoo of a face on, on your body. Right, just, just rethink it. Oh, and did I mention I'm giving away a $10 million piece of art? I'm serious. Oh my God, are you actually saying that I can win this $10 million piece of art? That's full of art, only $9 million now. This you said I can win this nine million dollar piece of art? Literally just by making a comment on a YouTube video? Oh yeah, yeah. So just follow follow the link in the comments or the description and all you have to do is leave a joke on one of those videos. And when I say one of those videos, it's, it's only one. So just leave a joke on that one video and guess what? You will be entered to win this nine million dollar piece of art. Oh no, oh my gosh, guess what? There's only a few more days left to do it. So you might as well, you better do it now. I wonder what happens when you actually call that number. You have reached a national telemarketing company. The number you dialed is... Eight, zero, zero, four, four, one, two, four. Did I just call a sex hotline? <laughs> the number you have reached is... See where this goes. Okay, I'll transfer you now. Please stay on the line to continue. Thank you for calling. This is Angela, may I help you? 
Hi, is this the zoo books? I'm sorry? Is this, is this the zoo books? No, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. Oh, you, see, you don't have the, the magazines with the animals? It's like magazines. And uh, apparently, uh, two books is no longer a thing, people. <laughs> First time I ever got hung up on a telemarketer. <laughs> That just shows you how bad the show is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go. Uh, hey, how would I speak on camera next time? Anyways, hey, guys, let's jump into today's playlist, which is uh, the worst of the worst tattoos of faces on people. <laughs> so for today, um, there is this website called Board Panda. Um, I'm assuming that it's made by a bunch of zoo animals. Oh, you, see, you don't have the, the magazines with the animals? Zoo books. So what somebody actually did was they took the, the horrible tattoo of a face and then they put it on a real face of that real thing to see like a real comparison, like a tattoo comparison of, of what it should look like in our brains and what it, what it actually ended up looking like. All right, so <laughs> once again, horrible, horrible tattoo. Then we got mama. So what does mama look like in a family setting? <laughs> like, I just picture that kid. He's just so happy, right? He's just like, he's like, oh, my mama. And then, like, he turns his head slowly. He's like, oh, my mama. Mama! Oh, man, that's funny. This is so funny. All right, so there we got Steve O. Um, that's actually not a bad tattoo at all. But I'm sure it's gonna look weird on on actually Stevo. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like that's that's like if you tattoo if you had no face and you tattooed a face on you, that's actually not that bad. All right, oh man, oh man, this is gonna be bad. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just take a moment and actually look at this this image. Like, at what point did you finish one of the children and then you went, oh, you know what? That's so good. I want you to do the other one, too. <laughs> or, or maybe this is actually the best cover-up that you've ever seen, right? Maybe that, maybe that top one, maybe that top girl was actually an onion. Maybe she was going for like a garden theme and she's like, oh no, I don't want a garden theme anymore. I want my children. So that tattoo artist turned an onion into her, the, her, the, her daughter and, and turned that beat, which was definitely a beat, into their son, right? And it looks like their son has a receding hairline already. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's mom and dad also, I don't know. All right, here we go. Okay, the girls almost sad. Like I almost feel bad. Like that guy, I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. But that that woman, hmm, hmm, call me. She <laughs> she's about to die. <laughs> that guy behind her, her son, is about to murder her. <laughs> Jeez, that is hilarious. Is that somebody's stomach, or is that somebody's butt? What is this? I think that's a stomach. I guess maybe if you have a really large stomach and you want people to not look at your stomach right away, you just get a tattoo of a white. Okay, can we just all admit that this wolf <laughs> does not look like it's howling? It looks, it looks like it's. <laughs> it looks like it's not something appalling. <laughs> all right, let's look at what that looks like on a real wolf. <laughs> it's still the same thing. It's going. <laughs> It's like it just walked in into its mama wolf and papa wolf making a son another another child wolf and it's like Wah! Why do I find this so funny? <laughs> oh man, this is such a bad tattoo. I mean why do you, why, this is what I'm saying, right? Look, how much do they charge if they're like, oh, I'll do it for 50 bucks and you're like, what? That's so cheap. That's so amazing, I, just, I can't wait. 
Don't do it, it right? Cheap tattoos equal this. Unless, unless you're like, you know, you know, I want to do some type of artistic flair, you know, really accent my daughter's pupils and upper lip, right? I, I want them to really be pronunciated. <laughs> I'm almost scared to see what this looks like on a girl. And, uh, <laughs> it looks like a weird French lady. <laughs> uh. Anyways, guys, that was today's episode. Those are some, those were some funny tattoos. My camera battery is blinking at me, so that makes me think it's gonna die at any moment. So anyways, if it dies within the next 10 seconds, I just want you to know that at 1 million subscribers, I will tattoo all 1 million subscribers of you on my face, of your faces. That's not actually, I'm not actually gonna do that. But anyways guys, thank you for watching another episode of Travel.